Layer comps in Clip Studio Paint are one of those features you don't know you need until you start using them. Whether you're a comic artist, illustrator, animator, or just want to try out different versions of your artwork, layer comps can make your workflow smoother, faster, and way more flexible. They allow you to test out ideas, manage multiple variations, and keep your files organized, all without duplicating layers or bloating your project. Once you understand how they work, you'll wonder how you ever managed without them. Note, the Layer Comps palette is a CSPX only feature. However, in Pro you can edit and save a file containing Layer Comps without losing the information and the Layer Comps will be back when you open it again in X. What are Layer Comps? Layer Comps let you save the current visibility state of your layers, what's visible and what's hidden. You can then switch between these saved setups instantly ideal for comparing lighting and color options, alternate outfits, expression changes, or full scene variations. Best of all, layer comps are non-destructive. They don't change your drawing, duplicate your layers, or increase file size. They simply store layer visibility combinations for easy preview and export. How to use layer comps? Open the layer comps palette from window layer comps. Create a new layer comp. Click the Add Layer Comp button to save the current layer visibility. Give it an easily recognizable name. Change the layer visibility for a new variation and create a new layer comp to save it. Repeat as needed for all your variants. Switch between layer comps. Click the first square next to a layer comp's name to instantly switch to that state. Use the arrow buttons to cycle through them for quick comparisons. Update Layer Comp. To save changes to a layer comp, for example, after adding new effects, select its name and click the Save Layer Comp button. Controlling visibility of new layers. Clip Studio Paint includes a helpful function for global changes. Added layers are visible in all layer comps. For example, let's change the cat's eye color in all variants. Activate the function by clicking the palette's bottom left button. Any new layer you add, including correction layers and tones, will appear in all layer comps automatically. If you later want to disable this, just click the icon again. Forgot to toggle it at the right time? No problem. If a layer was added while the setting was on but you don't want it visible in every layer comp, cut it, disable the function, and paste it back. If it was added while the function was off but you want it visible everywhere, do the same, cut, enable, and paste. Managing layer comps. Layer comps can be managed the same way as layers, rename them, select more with Ctrl or Shift, drag them up or down to reorganize them, or delete them. Quick tip, layer masks and rulers. It's not a well-known feature, but layer comps also remember the visibility of layer masks and rulers. For example, let's mask out one eye on the gradient map layer. Shift click the mask to toggle its visibility and update relevant layer comps as needed. Now you have variants with a green-eyed, gold-eyed, and dichromatic cat, without extra layers. Helpful Notes Layer Folders Moving layers in or out of folders can disrupt saved visibility. Plan your folder structure before creating layer comps. You can make use of this behavior to hide a guide or sketch layer that ended up in all your layer comps. Just put it inside a folder and it's cleared from all layer comps. Merged Layers Merged layers are treated as new layers and won't be visible in your saved layer comps unless added manually. If merging elements shared across all layer comps, enable added layers are visible in all layer comps first. Limitations. Layer comps only save visibility, not layer order, opacity, or blending modes. Changes to those attributes affect all layer comps. Clip Studio Paint's layer comps can't be saved in PSB or PSD formats and thus aren't compatible with Photoshop. Exporting layer comps. You can export all your layer comps as separate files, ideal for sharing, printing, or processing. Go to File, Special Export, Export Layer Comp. Choose the destination folder and file format. Set or clear the file prefix, by default the source file name, and choose whether to use the layer comp name, number, or both. The export only selected layer comps option is useful when you want to export just a few chosen versions or when you're just re-exporting an updated layer comp. In the following pop-up, you can choose detailed export settings, like the output size, etc. 
Make sure to enable export alpha channel for transparent PNGs. Note, exported files keep the original canvas size, even for transparent layer comps. To crop them based on content, a post-export auto-action batch process is needed. I'll make a separate tutorial on that if there's demand. Practical uses for layer comps. Lighting variations. Explore various moods like sunset, spotlight, or backlight, all within a single file. Character design. Save different outfits, hairstyles, or accessories to show different combinations without duplicating your base art. Alternative colors. Try different palettes for characters or environments and flip through them instantly. Character expressions. Create expression sets for emoji packs by combining different facial elements. Language and color versions. Make different languages or color versions of your comics easily. Parts for animations and comics. Divide the character or background into parts for modular use in animations or comics. Set layer comps for separate facial features and different expressions or background sceneries into planes and elements. Combining layer comps with file objects. Layer comps get even more powerful when combined with file objects. A file object is a clip file linked inside another as a special dynamic layer. It behaves like an image material layer. It can be scaled or rotated repeatedly without quality loss and without affecting the source file it is linked to. Using layer comps and file objects together. Each duplicate of a file object layer in your working file can display a different layer comp from the source. In the source clip file, create your variations using layer comps. In your main project, go to File, Import, Create File Object. Select the file to link as a file object layer. With the object tool selected, in the Tool Property Palette, Rendering Settings, uncheck Draw Paper for Transparency. Choose a layer comp from the drop down menu. Duplicate the file object layer and select a different layer comp for each instance. This lets you create a layout or presentation with multiple versions of the same asset, without duplicating, copying, or flattening anything. All linked layers will update automatically when you edit and save the source file. Practical uses of layer comps in file objects. Presentation sheets. Display color variants, color keys, or expression sets cleanly and editably in one master file. Reusable design elements. Need multiple versions of the same element, like a logo with and without a shadow? Store all in one file using layer comps and link them as file objects. Rich comic and webtoon backgrounds. Instead of redrawing complex backgrounds for every panel or using a plain gradient to save time, paint the whole scene's background in a separate file. Save each background element, sky, mid-ground, foreground, as a layer comp. Import the file as a file object into your panels through File, Import, Create File Object. In the Tool Property, Rendering Settings, uncheck Draw Paper, and in the drop-down menu, assign a layer comp to each duplicate of the file object layer. Then scale and position is needed to create depth and perspective. This method gives you the visual richness of detailed backgrounds, with far less effort and cleaner files. Conclusion Think of layer comps and file objects as your personal assistants, quietly making your art process smoother, cleaner, and more efficient. Once you start using them, you'll never want to go back.